our query wrong we'll do that but anyway we need one so can just use this code with our solution Now the only method we need left is get all roles for user. So we have to implement it because in some cases, um, not our case, but in some cases, user will have a lot of roles or many roles in the case of many many. So we'll just implement the old method here. Now it's pretty much done. Thank you. If you want to implement the other methods, it's up to you. Now after we have implemented all our classes, we need to make sure that we registers register it as our default providers here in our configuration. First thing we need to change the mode from Windows authentication to form authentication, and we can do some work here. Form stack. Okay, now the default URL is the, the default URL is the um, URL you want the users just to be directed to uh, immediately after login if he isn't coming to the to the your site with um, with a link. And the login URL here is uh, it is um, the page you specify. It is that uh, will contain the login control as the user will come to the first time. And now if he comes with a link to an, a page that is not authorized for him to see, he, he, the site will automatically direct him to the, to the login URL so he can be authenticated. Okay, so that says that our login URL is default to the SBX. URL will be now there is a lot of options here and you just can read about it it is it symbols let's say um, you don't need that for URL for this example just to open a tag for membership and to specify a 
providers we clear all them first to clear the default and then we add a new one and we add the, the name equal. now we will take the name of our class custom Same with the type. And we will do the same with the roles. And the role manager. first need to set our default provider here yes edit the same name and the same here. Now, as you can see, the SPNet configuration reads that we have three users, and it reads that from using the method we have just implemented. If you go to security here, we have listing users, and by default, the roles are not labeled, we just enable them. And it sees that we have two roles that we specified in the uh, database. Now if you go to manage user here, as you can see, um, this is all active because the membership user object, we, s we give it all true, so it is they are all active. And if you want to use this function, you will have first, you will first will have to implement the methods back in the provider, and all the search and what and so on all these functionalities are using the function that we mostly skipped okay we we'll go back now we, i want to set an access um set access to the pages and as you see we have the user normal and the admin role specified in the database now let's go and create access rules Okay, now I, I have two folders here that I want set access to. Uh, this folder I want all the pages in it to be accessible by only authenticated users, not anonymous users. And this folder, the pages in it to be accessible only by the admin role. So let's begin with this one. So I will put a rule that anonymous user I will deny and say ok and then I create another access rule and then I will go to the role admin only I will deny all users first then I will allow the admin role now you need first to go to manage access roles the ASP rules are from 
bottom down up hierarchy so it implements the bottom row first and then goes up so if in the, if, uh, if you lift it like it was it will allow all then it will allow admin then it will deny so that in this way no body will be able to access your site so we have to make this deny down refresh the project here you will notice that it made web configuration in every folder specifying the authorization rules for this folder now to set rules in ASP.NET you will have to put your pages or your, the content you want to um, put rules rules on in folder then put uh, rules on that folder by using the ASP.NET configuration now for example if I want to go to the secure ASPX and I run as you can see it automatically redirected me to the default ASPX page and here you have a query string specifying that the return URL is secure.sbx this specifies to the ASP engine that if I log in this is the URL where I should go because I requested it first so I will log in as mark for example mark and log in now as you can see I am in the secure SPX page as Mark and I can log out from here and then if I go again with Khalid Khalid I will log back but if I give in a wrong username or password for example or whatever will not because it authenticated me and it will not make me redirect to the page I wanted in the first place. Now let's try going to the secure admin page. Now that's fine. If I use mark mark I try to log in won't make me login because I don't not have the rule uh, the rule enough to uh, because I'm not an admin because Mark is a normal user but if I log in using Khalid Khalid it will appear now that's all people thank you for listening and I hope you learned something new today thank you very much